Day one on the southwest coastal path. weeks back Jake and I headed out on the southwest coastal path starting in Seaton a small village we set off on a multi-day hike so it's gonna be a decent day we started in Seaton and planning on finishing in Torquay so it's not a massive chunk of the trail but it's a fairly decent amount and it's just good training for future hikes in the year So we're now at the stones. It's gonna be a good stage. We're not gonna push it too far today because it's our first day. And to be honest, I haven't hiked far in ages. So it's gonna be a nice day, just getting used to the bags and the trail. But it's so nice walking along the sea. The Southwest Coast Path is England's longest trail, stretching out to 630 miles. As we only had a few days to kill after collecting our canoe, we set off for a three-day hike of a section of it, starting in Seaton and finishing in Torquay, which hugs the south coast of England, hence the name. Everything I've seen, the friends I've made, and then you tell me how you been. So just having a little break now, it is so hot today. We both managed to fill up at one of the little places along the way, because there's quite a few places, but what a view being next to the sea. have found our camp spot for tonight. Really nice spot, right next to the sea. Flush, isn't it? Lovely. <laughs> it's chilly, isn't it? You look like you're prepared for the Arctic. It's that. a bit nip. <laughs> Right, so we found somewhere to camp for tonight, which would be good. Decided whether to put my tent up or just to literally lay my roll mat out and sleep under the stars, because it's gonna be nice again clear skies but it might be a bit chilly so I'm gonna see I'm gonna cook some food first got some fire pot dowel and rice with spinach so that should be nice So we've had our dinner and just sitting around the fire now on the beach, which is super nice, giving off a nice bit of heat. The stars are out. You can't get much better than this. We decided because it's our first day to take it easy, take it steady, just enjoy the day. And then we arrived at this beach and decided, yeah, this will be a perfect place to camp. There's wood for a fire and just a really nice spot right next to the sea. That 
what a stunning place to wake up to this morning. So good. Here's my little setup. Got my Thermarest, which was really comfortable, and my Rab Neutrogena Pro sleeping bag. So that was my sleep system last night, and it worked really nicely. I want to thank Wild Camping International for my little brew mug for boiling all my water and everything. Titanium pot as well as their titanium spork, which is great for the um, dehydrated mills. Morning. Hey. <laughs> you sleep all right? In the really Lanshan good. one. Pretty really good. <laughs> bit narrow in here, but um, <laughs> a bit close to the face. This is the Lanshan one, and uh, it's what Jake slept in last night. One man tent. I come to wake him up. We she went, pulled my pegs out. We were meant to leave about two hours ago. Jake you pulled, you pulled my peg out. So I did. She got out the tent and it come out the ground. She's pulled my pegs out around me. <laughs> That's not good admin, that. Look what you've done. Pulling out the peg, uh, pegs pulling out. I'm anyway, and then I've got the Far Raven and the Visco one. So, I don't know, what do you reckon to win it on this front when you got pegs pulling out the ground and you can't even sleep in it? <laughs> I reckon get yourself a Lanshan one for 150 quid rather than 500 quid and then chin your girlfriend off that keeps pulling your pegs out. <laughs> So before coming we made these little bags full of like porridge, dry banana, raisins, nuts, everything. But I don't really fancy it this morning. I might have a late breakfast. And I'm just gonna have a bar now and see me off with a black coffee. See I need one of those right now. Another sunny day though, which is nice. I just hope you've got enough water for today. Because it's going to be another hot one. Don't want to get dehydrated. What a spot for last night though, absolutely stunning. We've now stopped in Sidmouth and got some food. Got these really nice baguettes and like snacky bits and bits and bobs. And some more water because I completely run out. Oh, look at this. <laughs> That's serious, isn't it? This is what we're talking about. It's a dream. Free water on the trail. We just had to pay for, how much was them two bottles? 70p a bottle. 70p, I sell like such a cheap scale. One pound to fill up to fill these up. smart bottles. We bought two with us and then got a big one in co op. Got some milkshakes as well and some other snacks. But this is so nice right now when it's this hot. It's picking up, isn't it, man? It's getting warmer. It is warm. Whack that on the edge. That's the one. I'll just squeeze it off and drink it later while we get tight. Yeah. Hardcore mountain man, isn't you? Mountain girl. Going off piece now. We stopped for five minutes again. We've been stopping all day. <laughs> we don't stop. Well, yeah, we don't. We just, we're like. <laughs> 
We just keep chatting and sitting down and eating. Thank you. Now we're having our little cookies from Sidworth Bakery. Big up them. I don't know what they were called. Do you remember? I can't remember. Yeah, they were really nice though. Look at that. Nice though. Beautiful. Can't beat it. Can't beat them. Join them. That's what I say. God, I look really red, don't I? Sun's getting to me. So just filled up some water at Budley Salterton Beach, I think how you say it. And um, yeah, cracking on, got four miles to go, <laughs> feeling good. Before dark. Before dark. On it. Hopefully crack it out. Bit of trail magic going on. Someone just gave us a free magnum, which is well sweet. What a legend. JK it all though, didn't he? I didn't see any of it. <laughs> Fibber. <laughs> so Absolute thank Fibber. you, whoever that was. Thank you very much, really enjoyed it. We didn't ask his name, did we? No, that was quite rude actually. Yeah, it was actually, wasn't it? You know what else is quite we rude? We know his life he story though. the whole magnum. I did not do that. Right, you listen to me here right now, <laughs> lads and ladies. Um, Bex absolutely saw it off. The only thing I got was... <laughs> oh yeah! All, all I got was stick. the stick. <laughs> <laughs> and the wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's also our lucky day because Bex literally just had a seagull poo either side of her. <laughs> and like, it completely missed her. It's my lucky day, isn't it? Yeah. Something bad's sure. gonna happen to me now, isn't it? <laughs> touch wood. <laughs> yeah. no, no, don't touch wood. I know you did then. Yeah, so we got four miles till Exmouth. Planning on staying on a beach near there. So it should be nice. Probably see you next when we're setting up camp for tonight. Look at him, he buys one of these on bags. He thinks he's like a pro hiker. <laughs> So if you're wondering about this trail, the total length of it is 630 miles, I think. And it's literally covering the south coast, that's hence southwest coastal path. But um, we did literally just do a little chunk of it and preparing for some up and coming walks. We were set on doing eight days and doing a big section of it, but things cropped up. So we have to get back home quicker. So we cut it to three days and thought we might as well come out for three days, especially because how nice the weather's been. I feel like I've really got back into the swing and really looking, for, really looking forward to more hikes this year. Cannot wait. It's gonna be good. So we're having a mare. I've just stacked it big styley back there. Don't know, there was some little ledge. So I decided to head on, had a bar and cracking on to this beach that's down here. Sandy beach, love a bit of sand in your tent. Yeah. Really finishes off a day, <laughs> day yeah. dike. Especially in your food. <laughs> yeah. Grains of sand in your food ain't the one. But yeah, it's both stacked it now. Don't worry guys, I walk back, yeah. Shows you the mountain man, isn't it? We are slogging on now, but we're just finding somewhere to camp now. And then set up, put some food on, happy days. <laughs> Straight in there. Oh, <laughs> skills. Not my day. So I'm just about to set my tent up. We finally found somewhere to camp, a really nice spot. Looking over this beautiful sandy beach. So it's gonna look beautiful, absolutely stunning. I'm a bit knackered now, so I'm gonna set up my tent and then cook some food. Tonight with Chef It Up with Bex, we have got pasta bolognese, which should be really good. So I'm just gonna boil my water and have that. Quite peckish now. Lovely jubbly. Ooh, 
Ooh, yours looks nice. Dumbled all that. Well spicy. <laughs> spicy? Yeah. Mmm. Morning. <laughs> Hi. It's foggy one today. Just having my overnight oats. I literally just soaked them last night, but quite nice. We made them before we came. It's got banana, raisins, oat, pumpkin seeds, gone all out. Set pretty well, apart from it's a bit slopey and Jake snoring was quite bad last night, so hey. <laughs> I'm joking, it weren't. I bought one of these with me to sponge everything down because everything's pretty soaked on the roof of my tent. It's going to be a good day. Heading to Exmouth first and then on to Torquay, which is our final destination. Just bought some water as well because I need a brew because... Um, yeah, coffee's priority in this game, isn't it? <laughs> and what I've done is literally bought a sachet of coffee and then these overnight oats. And I bought three or four of these, like, dried foods. And loads of bars, obviously. And that's done me and the odd stop here and there to get some more bits. It's all right for Sam, isn't it? Posh fake beads. Excuse me, you got offered half of these. I was Thumbs like, I'm in here calling my breakfast bag of poo in, <laughs> in a bag or whatever. What are you eating, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, Bex, do you, uh, do you want half of this and I'll have half your oats? She was like, Nah, that sounds horrible. And then I get it, start making it. She's like, Oh, oh actually, Jakey, Jakey, could, could I have some? <laughs> so I'm gonna be a good boyfriend and say, You know what? Swivel now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you can have some. <laughs> no, I'm all right. You can have your posh baked beans. Posh baked beans. Who calls them that? Where's the sun gone? Gone, on it? Gone with wind. So here's where we stayed last night. Two tents. And that's the view this morning. So we got some bad news. <laughs> Turns out there wasn't even a ferry running this time of year. And um, we tried three people to blag a lift and uh, none of them could do it. So I think the only option is getting a train to the other side of this like river that we've come to and need to cross over to get to the other side. And the train we just looked is 52 minutes, which is probably the same as going back to the van at the original start point. So we're just working out what to do now. Cause it's a bit of a shock, isn't yeah. it? Let down. It is a let down, cause we really wanted to get to Torquay. That was like our final destination, but it's not in our favor, I don't think. So <laughs> just gonna see, I'll let you know what we decide in the end but there's loads of boats in here we've just been asking about but so basically this is normally where the ferry goes and we cross this big river all the way to the other side I think it's called Star Cross and then we'd hike again pick up the main trail but can't really get across should have bought the pat raft or do you fancy a little swim yeah well, Your good. brilliant idea getting a rubber dinghy at uh, Tesco I would have worked we nice. Go. Shall we? Should we can actually see if they do rubber dinghies? <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah. He's off, off on one. He's off on one. This is what happens when you have spontaneous ideas. We just hadn't looked into this because we just wanted to come out and do 
like a three day hike and have a couple nights out while camping. But yeah, oh, there's another boat coming. Shall we? Another boat is coming. Maybe it's our lucky day. Didn't end up blagging a boat lift. So we are now heading for the train station and we get the train over to Dorish <laughs> Warren or something like that. And luckily the ferry crossing didn't happen to get over the estuary. So we got on the train from Exmouth to the opposite side. It's now dropped, so we both got the hoods up. We're trekking on. I think it's 12 miles of talkies. It was a nice feeling to finally finish the trail after just three days. There wasn't a designated end because we kind of made our own trip up, but it felt so good to have completed this trail and see a little bit more of the south of England. We decided to get the train back and head on back home. So maybe return into this beautiful trail soon. From the train station, we tried to blag a lift by hitchhiking back, which turned out to be really successful. We resorted to. We can't uh, get over the minute. Uh, so we're trying to get a, uh, a lift off of the ladies. Thumbs so out. Out, send it. One in doubt, thumbs out. So we got lucky and got a lift by some really lovely woman. She dropped us off in Seaton, just got like half a mile trek to the car park and yeah we finished, finished it. It's been a nice couple nights out camping, wild camping, doing a bit of hiking, enjoyed it. <laughs> Lovely mate! <laughs> so yeah go subscribe to Jake's Journey mate to see his version, you even get to see me stacking it which is uh, pretty Show funny. That. And me just laughing at <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching and thank you to all my patrons for supporting me i'll see you in the next video take Live, care laugh, love <laughs> bye